code. Oh, the work. And all my filters are still here. Okay, shut up. Shut up. No more music. Music over. Music time over. Get rid of music. Get it out of here. Delete. Gone. Microphone work now. It does. Yeah. Yippee. Okie dokie. Hello. Hello. America, yeah. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be doing modded. The server's working now. Ish, kind of. It's it's having it's been having issues. It's been having issues. All right. So the server works ninety percent of the time, and then ten percent of the time, the entire computer stops working forever. It just the whole thing freezes, and it starts stopping and starting very quickly. So um, we'll just hope that doesn't happen at all. Uh, and we'll get right into it. Boom, I've been in the server the whole time. Big reveal. Big reveal. I've been here the whole time. Awesome. Awesome. Get all of my ducks in a row. Everything's situated perfectly. Everything exactly where it goes. So I can be ready to play Minecraft. I took my cuckoo clock down. So I haven't yet streamed any of this world. This world is completely unstreamed, non-live based based unstreamed world i miss my oh obs isn't showing me all of my my cool stream stats oh it is i just can't see them because my monitor's too low first world problems okay there we go so sorry everything is everywhere all at once even <clears throat> all right this is uh oh in chat because i could not get my white quirking so this world is entirely unstreamed thus far uh but now i took a screenshot but now we're streaming it my my fps doesn't like me right now <laughs> guess that doesn't really matter i'm on a server How's it looking? Almost 60. Yeah, you know, that sounds about right. <laughs> Quality preset is extreme. How's how's the GPU looking? How are we doing? This is all part of the testing. We need to make sure that the game runs good. And at all. Wow, I'm using 26 of the 32 gigabytes of memory. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Because I actually, I have more memory on the way. I'm going to put more memory into my computer. And even though my memory is super slow right now, gonna be great um vtuber video tube why are you not talking why am i so silent get over here start moving what are you doing wake up wake up wake up i'm awake look at that now i'm real i'm a real boy okay um i have almost used all of the memory on my computer just by sitting here doing nothing so that's a great sign that is a great sign you always want to see that um I guess settings can go away. Who needs the settings? I need the chatbot, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of leeway here. I, I probably should have not given not given Minecraft so much memory. I'm giving it like 16 gigabytes out of the 32 I have. Um, go ahead and do a live announcement on Discord. Alrighty, we are so ready, except we're not. Um, I want to figure out why my frame rate is bad. It's probably due to, like, if I turn off Distant Horizons, it's going to jump up. But everything looks like garbage. <laughs> it didn't even go up. <laughs> it didn't even go up that much. Um, I guess we're gonna do minimal impact. That'll get that'll free up some CPU for other things. 
Anyways, welcome to the modded world. It is thus far completely un unstreamed, but we're playing it with Dwight. He's over there. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. I can actually fix that, can I? In one of these advanced options. Overdraw protection. What does it default to? Four. Is it better with four? <laughs> It is a lot better with four, but I think I had the issue of like, it'll overdraw the roof of my house. Yeah, it does that. It does that noise? Let's try five. Let's try five. Gotta rain in all the graphic settings. This will be great when I invite anyone else to this uh, <laughs> to this server, and I'm like, hey, there's a thousand settings you need to change. That that'll be really fun. <laughs> uh, let's let's stop audio. Why are you so low? Basically can't hear video game. I have audio ducking, but I think the audio ducking might be too extreme. Kind of insanely extreme, actually. Bow, 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 bow. When I say noises, I don't want the audio to completely disappear, please. I don't know. I don't have the I don't have the the focus to to mess with it right now. We're doing a lot of stuff. We're doing several things. We're doing so much, and by so much I mean so little. This is why I had it set to 6, but then when I zoom in on stuff it sucks. Ugh. Why can't I have my cake eat it too and get a new cake? So six works pretty fine. Six works okay. I can now get pretty far away from my house until it does the thing. But now it's the issue of like when I'm really close to LODs, they like, they load weird. They load hella weird, dog. Um, okay, I think six is a good number for me. It doesn't bother me. Oh, I just did it again on the corner of my screen. Okay, it does bother me kind of a lot. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. It bothers me kind of a lot. Um, Minecraft, you're kind of loud now. I, you know, I turned you up because I wanted you to be turned up, but then now you're kind of extremely fucking loud. Thank you. All right. So, unstreamed world. The first thing I am up to do is I need so I made an iron farm the last time I played iron farm make lots of iron I should go check on that because I haven't played in a little bit um I guess we need to finish the casing around this iron farm huh doing pretty dang good it's doing pretty dang good I never put my cuckoo clock back um, these blocks are probably inside. Sometimes I just climb up the side of my house. So this is still in version zero because there's still issues. Now, it is multiplayer. I am playing with one other person, but I don't feel comfortable adding more yet because it, it's kind of, it's kind of jank. All right. There's a lot of jank. Most of it is settings. I'm not... Most of it is just, like, stuff that you can configure, but the game is almost unplayable until you configure it. Um, the rest of it is... I should have grabbed wood while I was in there. Oh, the rest of it is... Uh... What was I saying? What was that? Oh, I, my brain... My memory just got wiped. I yawned and my memory got wiped. Oh, the jank. A lot of it's the settings. The rest of it is like the wall jump mod. Almost entirely the rest of it is the wall jump mod. So there's a thing in the wall jump mod that's like, a, it's it's a configure setting. It's like allow people to recling onto walls they just jumped off of. So that you, like, you jump on a wall. And how the mod's supposed to work is you jump on the wall and then you jump off the wall. And that's how the wall jump mod works. 
I come up, I crouch, I jump off of it. Here, wait. Crouch, jump. Crouch, jump off. I have to hold W and I always forget to do that. And if you keep wrinkling on, you can grab onto the same wall you just jumped off of. Which, of course, allows you to infinitely, like, scale walls. Which is not... Which is not balanced. That's just simply not very balanced. Um... So, yeah, that's a bit of an issue, and I was like, oh, no worries, I'll just change the configure settings. Well, the wall jump mod was made by some little dummy pants who decided that servers should go die because the uh, the settings for wall jump uh, don't sync to the clients. So, what that means is when I, as the server tell everyone to use the same settings, clients can just choose not to. So on the server, the server is telling you, like, uh-uh, you can't recling, and you can only go up two blocks when you do the jumpies. But the clients don't care. The The clients simply don't care. Um, and it defaults to whatever your client settings are. And anyone can change their client settings to anything, so it doesn't fucking it doesn't matter. It's very annoying. Um... Even if you don't understand it, it's very annoying. Um, should I just keep the glass there as, like, part of it? <laughs> it has a little bit of an issue where it constantly spits out cobblestone. It also has a little bit of an issue where it's so freaking loud, dude. How's my, how is my master volume so low? <laughs> feel any quieter okay yeah this thing kind of like spits out a lot of cobblestone freely but if i run it any slower so it's not spitting out cobblestone then the millstones aren't running fast enough and they get overwhelmed oh which is not what i want and i could if i had like another speed controller i could run the drills at a different speed and if the drills are running at a different speed, then I could, like, uh, I could make them slower and then make the millstones faster. Uh, that would require a precision mechanism, and those are awful. I might have one. You know what? I've recently built a precision mechanism factory, so I'll make it build it for me. And then I'll figure out where the fuck to put that rotational speed controller to make this all work perfectly. This is my precision mechanism factory. It makes these precision mechanisms so I do not have to. Right now it is not running. It's not running at all, actually. There is one on the machine. Oak. <laughs> Does it need big cog? It doesn't need big cog. I guess it needs iron nugget. Did it skip over the iron nugget on the last cycle? I wonder why. Let's see. Let's watch. Bonk. And now it'll go for this one. It's very slow because I'm running it off of water wheels because I don't have a boiler yet. Perfect. Well, it's running. Um, that'll make me a few precision mechanisms. I don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service. Get you all back in my inventory. Not in the crafting table. God, not in the crafting table. Who made this mod? Who was like, when you shift click anything into your inventory, it goes straight to the crafting table? What a horrible design choice. I struggle to think of worse design choices than that. Yeah, it's so frustrating. And it does the same thing with with um with furnaces. If you shift, if I have the furnace open and I shift flipped anything into my inventory that can go into a furnace, it goes into the furnace. So if I if I, if I put my like my my shovel into my backpack, it starts smelting it. That's not good. <laughs> Don't smelt my shovel.
Anywho. What were we doing? Precision of uh, the rotational speed controller. Oh god, how do I make one of those? Bow bow. Rotate. Ro rotate. Ro rotate. Oh, it's extremely easy. Okay. I bet we can fix this thing now. Let us see, let us see. It is nighttime, but we have these mega torches. So there's one right here and there's one over there. They're very expensive torches and they stop mobs from spawning in a big radius around them. Some like 50 block radius, which is pretty huge. You can see on this island, no hostile mobs are spawning, but way over there, you can't see them when I zoom in, but you can see them on the mini map. There is a skeleton somewhere somewhere over there there he is we found him skeleton spotted spotted zoom <laughs> um so it's not a huge race it's not like super op but it is really 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 nice to have i don't ask about those those just happen and i think it's apothecary and apothecary has cost me so many headaches oh there's a guy over there that's fine Okay, we need to fix the rotational speed controller. I'm just going to turn it off for now. So the drills are running too fast, but if I gear it down, I get rid of one of these gear reductions. Um, then it runs too slow. The mills run too slow. The drills run at a good speed. So I want to get rid of one of these gear reductions. Let's just poof it off. So we want to run it at this speed. Um, I guess the easiest way to do that is just, and then belt them up. Is this running at the right? This is running correctly. You see, it's a lot slower. It doesn't have the same issue where it's spitting cobblestone at the back because it's generating it so fast. It's perfect. It's exactly what we want. Um... But now the millstones are, are running behind. They like clog up, they get full of stuff, and then cobblestone builds up here, and then it builds up here, and then it builds up in there, and then we have the exact same issue we just had. So, how to run the millstones and subsequently the rest of the machine faster than the drills? Well, the drills connect right there. So it shouldn't be too hard because it's just this linkage that the issue is at. Um. Preferably, if we could put it right there, that would be awesome. Yeah, the ground below this is hollow. I used a schematic cannon to place it here, and then I put, like, fake ground. Because this is, like, it used to be, like, a big pit for some reason. Um, just, just ignore all that. Just ignore all that. Um, okay. This gearbox runs that conveyor belt, so it's kind of important. So how these work is, I forget, I think you shove, you shove rotational speed into it, and then it outputs to a cog wheel. So let's, let's put these back actually, and we put rotational speed into it there, it's not going to, let's instead, <laughs> instead of doing any of that nonsense. What if there was another belt right here? I've gotten I'm I've gotten belt pilled since I've built these. I am based and belt pilled. I love I love belts. They are so infinitely like I don't know why you would use chain linked um gearboxes or whatever they're called when you could use just belts, constantly using belts. Yeah, put that in the crafting table. That's where I wanted you to put that. Of course that's where I wanted you to put that. Thank you, thank you. So I could probably probably do this exact same thing with three cogs. Cogs require andesite. Belts are free, dog. They require what? Um dried kelp? That's nothing. So we put a big cog in there. And then that will rotate a smaller cog. 
Or a big cog, if we're feeling it. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna get rid of these because I'm gonna make it go down all the way here, and that would just be a waste of cogs. I've also completely forgotten what way this rotates, so we should probably figure that out, huh? So I can keep it keep an eye on my rotation. Not just have to guess the entire time. So this is rotating counterclockwise. Perf. Perf 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 perf. Counterclockwise. I love it. I love to see it. Um So this needs to rotate counterclockwise as well. Put you there, big cog, and then I'm thinking if we get another big cog. Oh my god, yeah, the crafting table is where I wanted to put that. How did you know? Right here. That's meshed into it. I don't know if it's rotating counterclockwise because I don't remember what direction this thing rotates, so we're just going to have to guess anyway. And it's the wrong way, of course it is. Luckily, the rotational speed controller is based as hell. Oh, no, I'm down here. And I can just flip it. Oh, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. What advancement did I get? Now everything else is running insanely too slow. Let me make it work like triple time and see what that does. I guess that's double time, but still. Three. Four. <laughs> it's, they're still too slow. Let's double the double time. We might overstress it. That's only triple time. Uh, okay, it's fast enough now. Because it's milling the stone faster than it's receiving stone. See, now it's empty. So I could stop there. I mean, that's that's as much as I need to do. But I kind of want to, like, tune it. I want it to be, like, perfectly timed. So let's see. Steve a stone. Alright, it still has one stone. Okay. It got up to two, which is not good. No bueno. Let's... So it's between 40 and 46. Let's do 43. <laughs> okay, so it's at three... A two, three, four. No, it's still too slow. So wait, is, is, is it 45? Because that's the only number we haven't tried yet. Five, four, five. It's, it stayed perfectly at five. It wasn't, it wasn't at four for a single frame. Dang, I guess 46 is the magic number. Do we just, like, hit it right off the bat? Alright, so 7, 6, 7, 6, 7. I'm just gonna watch it for a second, see if it ever gets to 8. Oh no, it got to 8. No, I was just wrong. I was just wrong. Yeah, it's going up to 9. Okay. What if we up it all the way to 64? Surely, right? Surely this is fast enough. Eight to nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Once we get down to seven, we know it's going down. Oh, it hit seven. Okay, so this will definitely bottom out eventually. This will definitely have zero at some point. Awesome. Awesome. Super awesome. Extremely awesome, even. <laughs> I care so little for Flint. I'll need Flint soon. Thank you, rotational speed controller. You win the day yet again. You also extended the footprint of this building. Probably needlessly. I bet I could do this without extending the footprint, but... Um, I don't need any of that. I realize I probably... No, I couldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, okay. So hot-ish, big-ish. The caboose of this building is a bit wide, if you know what I'm saying. 
The caboose is wide. So let's go get some wood. Just make a kind of good thing. I am not a builder, all right? But I don't want my create creations to just be out and about, all right? Raw dog in the world. I want them to be nice, neat, enclosed in their element, moisturized. I want them to be earth. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep working. <laughs> Keep at it. Ow. Okay, so eventually it gets to the point where it can't um, be this wide anymore and encompass the whole building. That's like right here. So... Bink, 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 bink. Bink, bonk, bink, bonk. I love weather, I love weather, I love weather, yippee, I love weather, yay, weather, yippee, weather, weather, yay. Um, that there. I think I did this wrong. What the fuck am I trying to do? I'm trying to extend it by one block, which is like, it doesn't look good when you're trying to do a frame like this. Because that's how it looks like. <laughs> but I could just pretend like I don't care and do like that. Or it's flush over here just because. This is temporary, by the way. This is going to be running on a boiler, I hope. Um, One day. It's fucking rain. I can't even sleep through it because it's not nighttime yet. Um. Yeah, we'll just pretend we don't care. Pretending I don't care strat has worked thus far. <laughs> Stop doing that, it's annoying. Okay. I guess I'll extend the back of the building one. Oof. I remember when I first saw the create mod, I was like, you could make vertical conveyor belts? That's so stupid. Who wants a vertical conveyor belt? What are you gonna convey? Air? I think it was just dumb. I was just stupid. I didn't realize the conveyor belts had any purpose other than moving blocks. That's why they're called mechanical belts and not just conveyor belts, because they're not just conveyor belts. They are more than conveyor belts in my heart. And in the game, so you don't even have to take my word for it. Can I? Just pretend like this doesn't exist. Absolutely. We need more iron. Luckily, these are actually pretty cheap, these iron plates. I mean, I say pretty cheap. They cost iron, <laughs> you know. But luckily, we have a uh, infinite supply. And that's not the only reason they're cheap. It's 8 for 24, which is base. That's like 3 for every one piece of iron. Would I be building it if I uh, wasn't currently making an iron farm? No, no, I absolutely would not be building with this stuff. But it's on theme, you know? It's an iron farm. It's got to be made of iron. This is not what I did. What am I doing? Oh my god, it's on fire. Don't do that, dog. <laughs> it's fine. The wood parts are not exposed to the lava, so... And this is me being lazy. Oh my god. Oh, it's already ash. That burned really fast. 
I thought it was raining. Here. Iron is cancelled until I get more lava. Uh, I'm gonna go check my house for more. If not, we'll just hop over to the nether. I want to make a lava train. I want to make a train that goes to the nether to get lava. And then slurps up lava and comes back. Trains are... I mean, they're not... They're not that far off, but I need to make sturdy sheets, which I think I have like a rail factory in my in my schematics, so I could probably work it. I could probably swing it. <sighs> what was I doing? Lava. We do have a spare lava. I just need to make a door on that side of the building. I keep jumping off of my balcony. Really bad for my knees. Almost fell in the lava hole. Guys, I did grab... Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I did grab both pieces of lava, right? Alright. This should help the burning a little bit. It's definitely not going to prevent it, though. What will prevent it is a bunch of iron gosh dang plates. Give me those. Stop putting them in the crafting table. I need them in my inventory. Stop putting them there. All right. Now, now stop catching everything on fire. All right. Misbehaving. A simple iron roof. Not even inlaid into the frame. How basic. Let's start up the iron farm again. Can't bear to see my little baby not working. Ideally, we'll have this hooked up to a redstone clutch so that it stops working when I want it to stop working because at some point it'll be full of iron. It makes iron faster than I could possibly use iron. I would need to be building stuff out of iron blocks for me to, like, actually use the iron, all the iron that comes out of this thing. And I mean, I kind of am building stuff out of iron blocks, but these are different, right? Iron blocks are nine iron per one. These are three per one iron. I still seem to run out of them. These are from the cork mod. Do they do anything? Oh, you can make rusty iron. You can make an iron pillar. Iron vertical slab. Blonk, 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 blonk. Should probably have like a maintenance entrance anyway. Perf. Also realized I didn't really light up this place, so let's place a torch. Here is your gravel back, Monsieur. Though I don't think. Any mobs can spawn in here because of the mega torch, but you know it's worth lighting up. What if I move the mega torches? What if I decide mega torches are for lame babies? Every time we touch scale. That it was a question, now I'm love-struck. <laughs> Isn't that the curse as hell? How do those gears work? This is cursed. When I finally upgrade this to a boiler, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, configure the speed input off of the boiler. Probably have to use another rotational speed controller. <sighs> or I could just run it full blast. Imagine. Just running just mega gigafast. 
Hey there. Can I talk to you still? Wow, that is a sword you got there, do. <laughs> Pain of Arthropods 10. <laughs> Arachnid Sphere. Yeah, I'd say. God, all of these enchantments are impossible. Fire Aspect 5. <laughs> If I had 45 emeralds, yeah, I would instantly do this. Maybe maybe I do have 45 emeralds, who knows? Oh my god. I am ready to get the the most OP sword in existence when fighting arachnids. Where the fuck? Give me the stick. Yoo-hoo, traitor. I'm not going to kill his llama. What if he doesn't want to trade with me? What a deal. Successfully trade with the villager. Yeah, now I have a looting 7,000 sword. You are lucky you're invisible, mister. Get processed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's real quick make a uh, door. A door. Simple door. Little maintenance door. For a little maintenance man. These emeralds were well fought. I, I killed like a billion pillagers for them. As you can see, that was the first time trading. God, mending? Uh, already, <laughs> already nuts. Fire respect five. That that mob will never not be on fire. Unbreaking five. I'm never gonna even use mending because it has unbreaking five. Looting five. Insane. Vein of Arthropods ten. I hate spiders. If only it did more than seven damage. <laughs> I have swords that do more than that. I had swords that do more than that. I don't know if I still have them. I guess not, because I can't find any in here. This one does 12.75 and inflicts weakness. Alright, you think this arachnid sword is OP? This one does have lifesteal on it, which is a pretty based. A little based, just a little bit of based. I'm gonna keep my pick a rig in my backpack. I might use it. Alright, I'm not insane, am I? Did it open my crafting table? I think I am insane. I think I'm going insane. Let's go test out the sword on things. I mean, I simply gotta. I simply must gotta. Where's my food? I simply must gotta. This thing is going to instantly eviscerate a spider. Not just like seven damage, ooh ha ha, lots of damage, but it has it being the arthropods ten. Doesn't arthropods go up to like five? He hit me and went blind. Yeah, <laughs> not what I expected. To instantly kill them. The looting is the really good part. I mean, the mending is obviously amazing. I don't have to worry about fixing the thing. Which is my other problem with swords. I fight a lot of things and I have to fix them all the time. So I'm I'm kind of fine with a little bit of a damage debuff. If it means I can instantly kill spiders and also have a mending sword. Alright, it's getting thundery. Lightning strike there again. All right, let's let's get into bed before my house burns down. I need to make a lightning rod, honestly. Keep chancing it. There's my uneventful iron farm. It really looks like something needs to go on top here, right? I I pressed K on accident. 
toggled shaders to off. I don't have shaders on, dude. <laughs> I meant to press B. Somehow I pressed K. I'm I'm just as confused as you are. I, don't, I really don't know what to put up here. Okay, character caricature of an iron ingot. Um, if I was super good at like building, I would put like mechanical machines and big old pist oh, pistons and whatnot. I'm so yawny, which is weird because it's like, it's not even late for me. Um, I mean, I guess it's just, I guess it's just this. I could put like a, like a sloping roof on it if I wanted to. Maybe just like a little bit of a sloping roof. Why don't we just make four stacks of sticks, right? <laughs> Um, then we need some of these. There. 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 Look, I'm almost positive that's how you make them. Oh, I'm stupid. These are not vanilla. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we'll do the next best thing. Explode. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. We'll do the next best thing, which is just stairs, I guess. Can't do modded stairs. We gotta do stupid freaking plank stairs. I really don't like the look of black wood planks. They look funky. When I have macaws roofs, doing normal, like, plank ones are it's pretty awful. I could do black wood, or not black wood, but, uh, dark oak wood. I'm kind of thinking I just, like... Look, it doesn't have to look amazing, alright? I just kind of want to put something here that's doesn't look awful. Not awful is a pretty low bar. I think I can handle it. So my idea is that it kind of just goes up a little bit, just enough that you can see it from the front, and then uh, and then it just flattens off again. Because I don't care. Yeah, you know, I could put another building up here, like another farm, condense all my farms together. That would be kind of kind of based actually. That would be kind of awesome, and they could all go down to one room, one room of one room of loot down here. That'd be cool as hell. Let's back this up, or I guess forward it forward. Let's take too long to mine. I just, I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up on mining those. They so still got kind of like the awning right there. Then it goes up a little bit. Wait, so if I press K, 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 K was the button. I'm so mad. <laughs> Oh no, it's doing it. You can see on my screen, it it's doing a rotational lock. Awesome. Let's unbind <laughs> refresh shaders. God, why did I get freaking what what's the mod called? It's like uh it's a press K. Oh good lord. Why can't this mod be easy to use? No. Okay, I want to be click. I gotta look right here. Okay, so it's the bottom half of the front of a block. So now I can do this. Awesome. 
was really helpful. It just took a little bit of learning how to use it. And I think we'll do something up here. Um, for now, we'll just say that's that. Um, maybe I'll put some, like... I don't know. I have a... I need a, a rail factory. Stretch. Oh, big stretch, okay. I kind of want to... Oh my god. We're gonna press K into the sky to turn it off. Um, I kind of want to... Make a train. I want to do trains. Trains are not fun. <laughs> they require... Ex they, they are expensive. Trains do not come just for free. They are costly. I'm looking at the mini-map right now. There's like a wayward... Dropped item somewhere. Hello? Dropped item? Hello? Dropped item? It bothers me. It bothers me to no end. It was the ash. It was the fucking ash. I'm so stupid. Okay. I don't care. Um, the whole point of fixing that with the rotational speed controller was so that we didn't have dropped entities. So dropped entities instantly triggered. I was just like, oh god. No, something's wrong. I've got to fix it. Oh, you know what we need to make next? I need to make a beef farm. I need to make a beef farm. Yeah, I forgot about the beef farm. Because I have an issue where I'm running out of food constantly. And when we went, me and my friend went on a, a big, a big exploration. We went looking for stuff. When we came back, I was like, you know, of all the things we got on this trip, I'm just so glad I have food now because <laughs> we killed a bunch of mobs on the way. And yeah, we really need like a, a cow farm. And I've been putting it off because I really don't want to make one. They're just, it's just annoying. It's like a, it's a bunch of resources. It's, yeah, it's just a bunch of resources, and that makes me so upset. Uh, a bunch of... It, it's over-engineered, the solution I made a long time ago. It's just not good. And then the other, the alternative, like the vanilla alternative, is putting 20 cows in a hole, and then breeding them, and then every now and then they'll, like, uh, die of entity damage. Which is awesome, it's a great way, and it's only 20, it's only like 20 cows in one area, but it's also 20 entities in one area, and, and I am doing really good at keeping the entity level down. But I think I might just do that again, because it's just easy, <laughs> it's just so easy. Um, I could even, I could even put like a deployer on top of it with, with wheat, and then boom. Infinite cow farm. Okay. Let's... Let's do this. Let's do... Uh, do we make it out of magnolia? I'm kind of running out. Make it out of oak, because I have a fuck ton of it. Um, you know what? We haven't made anything out of birch yet. It's gonna be made out of birch. Where's my birch saplings? I guess I don't have any. It's fine. We have birch trees outside. All of my tools are on their last legs. Well, I have even have an auto tree farm if I can just get wood so easily. The answer? Durability. <laughs> also automation. I can automatically feed a... Um... What are they called? A boiler, like a blaze burner. I can automatically feed a blaze burner if I make it automated, which is way better. Yeah, just way better. Um, but we don't really need the wood from here. We need the saplings. 
So now what I can do, I can just place a bunch of these. And that will start pretty soon. Um, do I have glue on me? Per chance? So all these are stuck together. I don't know how you're stuck to it as well. If I glue just these together, does that like, does it leave these behind? I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Ain't a perfect picture of what we should be. It sure does. Here, wait. That hurt. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1, 7, 1, 9. 6, 1, 7, 8, 1, works every time, baby. You know, every time, it's man, this is the first time I've done it, but it, was, it worked, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to grab onto like trees and stuff, you know? How do I unsticky you? I don't want you to be sticky. Perf. Because the radial chassis will just grab onto trees and um, that's not good. Okay. Let's go down to my service hole, run the farm. Okay. Take note of our errors. Regroup. Try again. Alright. Ain't a perfect picture of what we could be. Okay. No, it's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. Plonk. Plonk. Plink. This should just connect automatically. Did I ever tell you I hate this video game? Because I do. Nobody has fun playing this video game. Modded Minecraft, no one has ever had fun playing modded Minecraft. It's a joke, I love this game. In fact, I've, I've kind of spoiled myself. I can't really play it unless it's modded. Because, uh... I don't know, man. I, I just get tired of it. I get tired of normal Minecraft so easily. I like being creative and with the create mod and whatnot and what have you. Do you think there's a block stuck to the bottom of that? I'm sure it doesn't matter. There's a little bit of oak in here, it seems. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, though. Honestly, I have infinite iron and infinite uh, wood. I can make infinite vaults. I don't know why I have to do this. I could just make vaults. so we can jumpstart this process. I was really confident I could get it to grow with enough force. Yeah, cycling it all over there. It's fine, we'll just take one of these. Plonk. Mm. 
Not the bones. <gasps> I ate the bones. If you're old enough to get that, then get, get, get off my stream and go to work. <laughs> what are you doing? Get a job. Normal Minecraft music. There's some like extra music mods in here, I'm pretty sure. Why does it feel like there's less saplings out there now? Oh, probably because there very well could be. I don't need 8 million twigs, alright? I'm gonna keep a couple, just like a little bit, so that I can use this later. What does tea make? It makes Croptopia, which... Okay. Um... Crop, crop, topia, like Wikipedia, cropopedia. It's not cropopedia though. Specifically, not cropopedia. T would be kind of based. It doesn't do that much though, compared to like steak. Okay, what about these? So trail mix is really good. But it requires a lot of stuff. Raisin, salt, chocolate requires a lot. It's good. Candied nuts is good. <laughs> An acorn sack. <laughs> okay, roasted nuts is actually really good from Croptopia. I mean, it's not they're not amazing, but they have a lot of saturation. Crazy amounts of Where's my heater remote? I'm hot. I'm cold. Hot would be the... Not Carol the Honest, no. He's probably got, what, enchanted leather? Sorry, I had to make sure the heater didn't start a fire. I'll go take her on, just so you guys can see how fucking easy these apotheosis mobs are apotheosis i'm debating getting rid of it i think did she just despawn the nerve on these bosses dog i'm debating on getting rid of apotheosis just because it's really kind of overpowered it adds all of the attributes to gear which the attributes are awesome all right a little bit overpowered here and there doesn't matter they're really cool because mobs have them and then the mobs use them on you and you're like oh no i'm blind or something right they're awesome. But then it also adds the ability to like craft mob spawners and like turn off mob AI when they come out of the spawner. Like, wow, that is insanely overpowered. Couldn't you just not have all that? So I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm kind of on the fence about apotheosis. It's a bit cool, but it's also extremely overpowered. Um Can I use apples to do anything cool? Horse feet. All-purpose food press. Apple juice is meh. Apple sapling, you say? Fruit smoothie. There's ice. Requires, okay, these are required. It's also berry and melon. Okay. And apple pie is kind of expensive, and everything's kind of expensive. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. It's hard finding food. 
just can't find good food these days. Um, go ahead and smelt up some stuff. Whoops, I didn't mean to make all this grass. wants grass. Oh, the deployers, like, aren't doing anything. Interesting. I gotta figure out why that is. I don't remember how rotating things work anymore. I've, I've forgotten, but, uh... Uh... Sometimes that happens. Am I dumb? <laughs> uh huh? Oh, they're all set to only that type of sapling. I should really set them to any type of sapling. Put like a filter on them. Have a filter on me. I don't really have a filter on me. Awesome. Um. Whatever. It's fixed now. We'll just have to change it every time we want to change the type of tree, which isn't really a big hassle or anything. Perfect. They're a bit clumped up, but... You know, that's fine. Anyway, the purpose of this, we now have uh, birch wood to build with. Uh, we'll put it up there, but that's kind of industrial looking. Put it on this side of it. Uh, this is just a little cow farm, so it shouldn't be that hard to make. It should be relatively... Simple. What am I doing? Should have grabbed dirt from inside. The house is all the way over there. The house is all the way over there. Now I can run around the edges and collect all the goodies for myself. The clover meadows are cool, but they have so many clovers and they all drop clovers. And then you're like, oh, I've cleared out a little bit of land and I have a million clovers in my inventory now. I guess I really don't know the footprint of it, but we'll try to, like, make a little square. It should not be very big. Honestly, it should be extremely small. Because, well, here, we'll build it up right now. Um, first thing we need is a hopper, though. And heaven forbid I carry around materials with me. 
fine. Got everything we need over here in the iron farm. Now, 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 now. Now, 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 now. I love eating on grass and summoning grass. Okay. Um. Starts with a little bit of a hopper. And a chest. We'll do both. So... I don't even want this to be a building that you go into. It's gonna be out the front. Alright, so there's a chest. Then into the back of the chest goes the hopper. Um... And I guess we'll need a couple more hoppers, huh? Birch, why'd you make six chests? Uh, why don't you mind your own god dang business? All right. I'm not, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, let me just right here. And then we should probably plan for overproduction. So like, God, hoppers are so primitive. I need to be using like other stuff. Here, you know what? I said it earlier, but we have like infinite iron. We might as well make vaults. Extra stack. Dang, already been about an hour, how the time flies. Over an hour. That only three? Put a stack on there. Go! Faster! Faster! Alright, how do you make vaults? Let's look. Yep, that's what I wanted to click. So it's two sheets in a barrel. So we're going to need lots of barrels. And I do forget how barrels are made, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, dang. Wait, are there different types of barrels in this mod? There are, in fact, like birch barrels and stuff. Oh, but it doesn't care. Okay, great. Perfect. Because I forget how to do it already. I just looked at it and I already forgot how to do it again. Like a robot banging his head against the wall over there. Alright, we could have way too many barrels. I needed I need this entire stack. I have 32 barrels. Make 32 vaults. I'll need that entire stack done, done and dusted. Um. All right, so we'll have that. So there'll be a vault. So it'll all feed into a vault, and then the vault feeds into a chest. So that way, there's like an interface to the vault, but the vault is like right there. Or you know, we could do like. I mean, nobody needs to take multiple stacks at once, like from a vault. So they would probably, we could probably just do like in a conveyor belt that leads outside. That takes, well, it'll t need to take 64 off at a time. So it'll have to be made out of brass. Uh, which requires redstone. No, that's the one thing I don't have a lot of. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I've never gone mining, alright? I've got all my loot from exploring places. I mean, I'm pretty sure we don't have any sand because I used all of it. Wow, this thing's fast. Let's 
just a random ravine right there. Normal shit you see every day. Whoops. I don't know water can't form on top of water. It makes making places not moving water very annoying. I'll worry about the damage I did to ecological life later. I needed a small amount of uh, sand, so now that, you know, that being completely broken totally and completely just doesn't bother me. Every time we touch, Wait a bonk is my paper. Yeah, a little bit right here. All right, we've acquired sandpaper. Why do we need sandpaper? Glad you said that, person. Did I pick up all my garbage? Gross. Disgusting snack. Fulfilling meal. Okay, so put this in our offhand. Take this. Polish it down. Nice and smooth. And now we have these. And then we take those and we put those on plates. And we get these electron tubes. Sheets. And before I need it, I'm already going to start making another stack of iron sheets. Because, I mean, I won't need it anytime soon. That's not true. I'm using literally this whole stack right now. So I'll probably need it sometime soon. Okay. But we do need a brass funnel. So that is made like so. Let's go up to my room. switch well, let's go kill it whatever that is let's go kill it right now scratch all our plans let's go kill that thing it's gone it's gone it's instantly gone it's instantly it just appeared and it's already gone that's my life uh, <clears throat> um so yeah we'll, we'll change all this completely who even needs hoppers hoppers are for lame people who suggested using hoppers you're banned you're banned so instead, what we'll do is we'll just have the front of this business. Probably be this big. I challenge myself to fit it in a three wide space. Um, then we can just, so we'll have like a vault back here. I don't think it'll need to be much bigger than this, but we'll put it right there. That, put this right here, and then under it. This does unfortunately mean it's not going to be perfect. It's going to need rotation. Can Hoppers can't pull from vaults, can they? Okay, well, I don't know, but it's fine. It's just a little bit of rotation. I'll just put like a little perpetual motion machine under it. A little bit of perpetual motion on my side. A little bit of physics. The laws of thermodynamics breaking on my mind. Albert Einstein rolling in his grave. Or like, raffling in his 
grave. That was a fucking stupid joke. Could you guys forget that one, please? Have any water on me? I do have five buckets. <laughs> Perf. That's actually the way we want it to go. Won't even be able to see it down there. Hey, okay, belt. Boom! Look at that. Anything that goes in there is going to be coming right out. Um, I feel like I'm going to be running more things off of that water wheel, though, because I need to put stuff into it, too. Alright. And then the actual thing. Challenge myself to fit it into this small little space. I don't want to give us room to upgrade the thing if we need to upgrade it, so I'm going to put these a little bit all the way the fuck back here. Uh, under it, we're going to have a conveyor belt. Obviously going to go all the way over here. Mink, 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 mink. Um, I'm just going to use an andesite funnel because there's no reason not to. Let's go get rotation from somewhere. What do you know? There's a perfect source of rotation right here. Who put this here for us? That's so sweet. And it's rotating the perfect direction. A little bit of Gleevil Short by my side. A little bit of Gleevil Clop on my mind. A little bit of Gleevil Stomp is what I need. A little bit of Gleevil Dorp is what I feed. If you don't know, if you don't have the words for a song, just make up words for a song. Honestly. I don't totally remember how I'm supposed to do this. Internet? I see a lot of people just doing uh, water and fence post. I'm cool. I can do water and fence post. Here, have these slabs. Um, fence post is made like that. It'll be like that. So I kind of need to get the cows in there first. But I'm going to be honest, I think that's the entire farm. Uh, I don't think there's any more to it. You put the cows in there, and then the cows grow up, and then they get crushed, and then they grow up, and they get crushed, and they grow up, and they get crushed, and that's how that works. Um, I kind of need something you can click through, though, because I am going to be using a deployer. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's get some cows in there first. I don't have any um, wheat at all. Which I realized is a just now that is an imperative part of this farm. <laughs> okay. Wooden hoe. A seedy place. Wow. Yeah, I could just hold down right click. Because of the uh 
the harvesting mod. Stomp, stomp, stomp. 24. Not the fastest in the world, but it works. And there's some Moo Moo ponies all the way over here. I'm gonna have to get them across the river. Probably would have been better if I went and grabbed the leads, but I didn't say I was smart. I don't remember making any claims at all. Oh, they're Dwight's cows. In that case, they're mine now. This changes everything. Also, I did bring two leads because I'm just so smart and I definitely actually remembered I had those leads on me. Definitely. For sure. Who are the lucky cows? That's one of you. Here, bud, you stay there. Can I... Hello? Hello? Video game? I have to undo it? Redo it there? Perf. Get on that pin's post, bud. See, this is why you play with other people, so you can steal their cows when they get cows. So he knows that I, I'm going to use them. I told him I was going to make a beef farm and to not kill the cows near his house because we probably need them for food. You guys are fast. We need both of you to get in this hole. This is the hard part. Okay, never mind. That's one. Come on, big guy. Jesus Christ. He doesn't fucking want to walk in my direction. He does not know what a conveyor belt is. Poor little man. Tiny little brain. Doesn't want to step on it. If I was a cow, I probably wouldn't want to step on a conveyor belt either. Get over here. Come on. The hell are you going? Get in the hole. A really nice hole I made just for you, dude. And all of your 20 brethren. So if I just... If I just put a deployer up here, do you think... <laughs> do you think that would work? Plonk, plonk. More clovers. Yum. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Alright, so we need a hand. We need a handy little helper. Does this do anything else? No. Just does that. Interesting. That and an electron tube, and we get a deployer. So the question of the year is if I give a deployer food and I just put it above two cows, like a bunch of cows are crammed into one place, will it click the cows properly or will it get stuck like a, like a player would? Because as a player, you can only really click the cow that's on top. That's why we put water underneath them. But I can't really put water underneath them because I'd need something to hold them in. I guess I could put water underneath them actually. I wanted to. I would just have to make this a little bit taller. So I'd do it like this. I mean, I'm sure I could put water way at the bottom, though. 
Oh, they kind of jump really high <laughs> for some reason. Um, not, it's not really how I, I pictured it. Do I have a, still have a hand crank in here? I do. And I went straight to the fucking crafting table, dude. <laughs> Let's put a hand crank on here. We'll give it a little test. Make love. Look at that. They're so good at making love. How do I put stuff in the deployer's hand? Can I just... Can I funnel it in there? Is that an option? There's a baby in there. Those trees are getting really frosty. So if I have a hopper, it does in fact hop. Awesome. Rotationless. Base as hell. Um, the does need to rotate. This shovel so fast. I can see three. Damn. Oh man, but I want to keep my my good graces going. Good cogwheel all the way up, but I'm not an insane person. <laughs> oh, maybe I am insane though, because it'd be so easy to <laughs> be so easy to cogwheel all the way up. I'm sitting, I'm double jumping like I'm supposed to be in creative mode. Is how much I can fly around and shit. I have just enough cogwheels. Lovely. Look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Help. 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 They're saying they don't want to be in a hole together for some reason. I literally can't imagine why. I feel like it's going to be using wheat on the baby cow a lot, though, which is its own level of unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, okay. 926. We'll have to go soon, but I should be able to finish up this farm. Maybe I'll rig up a possible, like, wheat farm? Not sure. Looks like the farm's doing good over here. Plenty of oak. That's not oak, that is birch. How do I make, like, cow trophies? Cow in a jar? <laughs> Flying cow spawn egg. all these trophies but you can't make can't make cow trophy I don't believe it firsthand and craft it's the mod shift <laughs> adds a Fucking few of them, god damn. <laughs> Handcraft. Damn, I guess there really isn't a cow trophy. Probably because cows are, I don't know, kind of easy to kill. I mean, they're, they're, they're a pretty big challenge. 
I was gonna put like a little cow head on the front of it. Can you do it? Can you eat this? Yes. I haven't really tested one of them dying though. Nah, it's fine. It'll work. There's no. There's no way. Literally. Oh, but but items float. <laughs> I just realized items float, dog. Ooh, ooh, items float. It's only one level of water, though, right? Yeah, well, still says there's dropped items. No, items float. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Stop that. How do I, what's the fucking, give me like a, a slap. You a tall cow. What are you standing on? <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works when they're down here. Are they standing on each other? That's not a thing. Get down. would fucking do that to me, dog. Thank you, whatever mod adds the K button. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, then I guess we'll just have to, like, see it not work. <laughs> Get out of my hand. Put you in my hand. Place that there before they can, like, escape or some shit. Uh, let's just put the hopper down. Alright. Hopper on the front. Beat goes in the hopper. And let's get this some rotational energy going. Definitely hit a second cow that time. Okay. I guess... I guess that's fine. I guess it'll eventually hit all of them, because it's not going to hit baby cows, because they're at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think we can uh, run this deployer faster if I... Did a few reductions. I feel like it's gonna immediately overstress it because it's ran by ex one ex exactly one uh, cog mm. or one, exactly one uh, water wheel. It's not gonna not gonna last. Mm. You can't jump out of there, can you? Jesus Christ. I kind of don't want all this garbage. Um, I know it's probably awesome, and there's probably a super cool use for it. I don't want any of it. Dog, I'm not actually... I'll eat this maggot, though. Um, Cheryl, what do you got for me? You're useless. Sorry, Cheryl. I think 
polluting five had something to do with the fact it dropped so many things. Close the crafting table. I caught it this time. Did not do it this time. So proud of myself. Now it's feeding him faster, which it should help with the whole doesn't isn't super accurate thing. And all of this is just all the space is here so that if I want to expand this vault, I can. I don't really want to now. I don't think it'll be necessary. Who knows? Maybe in the future I'll want to. I don't know if I'll make an auto wheat farm. It's probably a good idea. I just... I don't really know how auto wheat farms work. Auto wheat farm create. Okay, well there's plows. There's like, there's that method of create farm. I want it like something really tiny with like one crop. I think like a piston with a harvester on it would work. Oh, it seems a little bit involved, ain't it? It's fine. Something we can do later then. Just stack it on top of this farm. For now, all we need to know is that wheat go whole. Wheat go in whole. Let's uh, let's let's go get a bunch of wheat. Let's spam some bone meal. Kind of running out. I need those seeds. <laughs> I need all of them though. Twigs not compostable. It looks really pretty. I like that. Let's sleep real quick, and then we're just gonna make a bunch of wheat. We're gonna fill this thing full of wheat. much weed as I can fill it up with, really. Weed seeds, and then just... Wait, I'm actually, I'm gonna make this way easier. Give me a moment. Turbo Mouse 2. Yeah, I'm a cheater. <laughs> a really complicated way for me to just get one. I think 11 bone meal. I think it does not produce as much bone meal as I thought it should. As I think it should. I currently think it should. Wish I could compost um, logs. <laughs> That'd be a little bit OP. Just a touch, just a tad. Tad overpowered. Loaded up with as much bone meal as I would love. No. 
but it'll have some in there. No kiss. I could have it intermittently um, put water down and place it and then take water out so that the drops always have a chance to come to the bottom but it still has a chance to like breed the cows by bopping them up and down. As soon as this produces any, it'll start coming out the belt. Uh, but that's going to take a little bit. It's got to get all the way up to entity cram level, which is a lot. And it sucks that we have to wait so long, but once it gets there, we're so set. So much, so much saturation. Keep this farm running for a little bit. What time is it? Ten till. I think we got time for one more excursion. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? So we have item bolts. We have these over here in the corner. What I'm going to do instead. Do big old vault. How am I already out of item vaults, dude? Ah! Do I have any more? Damn. <laughs> Those things go fast, huh? Okay, more barrels. I need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Need that many. I need this many. Jump scared. Uh. And I'll store some here. What we could do is take the wood out of the side altogether. Let's search here. Then we'll do. Yep, sure. That's how I want that. Um. Click, clack, paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. Okay, it needs at least one brass funnel, but the other one can be an andesite funnel, which is awesome because I really don't want to deal with really don't want to deal with thing. Do I not have any more housing? Fuck, dude. It's fine. Um, how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Eight. Well. It's gonna be. Okay. We have housing. It's the wrong backpack. Did I get it wrong? Okay, it's literally just alloy. I'm stupid. I'm I'm stupid. My brain is dumb. Anyway, it goes in there. It comes out here. We need to filter. Filter is going to be just wood. I wouldn't happen to have wool on me, would I? Of course not. Um. Bow, 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 
I'm trying to hurry because I, I want to get it done before I have to get off. I gotta go through my real world job. Make real world money. How awesome would it be if in real life I could just make an iron farm and then sell the iron? Okay. List filter. Oh, I'm so stupid. It needs to be an attribute filter. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. I guess I could make it a list filter. So I can you can drag over from too many items like that. Can I, can I cheat items in that way? <laughs> Spec to data. Um, okay. I think this list filter isn't a total waste because I can put it on this side, on the outlet, which means I'm gonna need another brass funnel, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> the pain doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Okay. Um. God dang it. Redstone farm. I need to make one of those. That's what I really need. If I put an andesite funnel here, and then a filter on the other side that filters everything except wood... <laughs> Do you think? Uh, okay, I need to go get an attributes thing. Oh fuck! I did that. Wait, it's all fucked. Okay. Bow 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 bow. Back down to the bottom. Grab a bunch of wool just because. Okay, now get a couple brass nuggies. Around my wool with it, we got an attribute filter. So what this lets us do is it lets us um, instead of filtering by what specific item, it lets us filter by those item attributes. Uh, like is wood, because <laughs> there's lots of stuff that is wood, right? So here, put a thing in there. Is tagged logs. So there's lots of logs. Add that to the list, and we'll click complete. And now we have is logs, so this will only let logs out. We have another filter over here that is compostable. Eats up all the compost and throws away everything else. Um, so this will take all of the logs, presumably. And... It's not going to be this easy. Do, 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 yeah. Is there like, can I do like bank bank? No, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I need to make a thing. Okay. My brain is trying to do 12 things at one time. Come on, make a decision. <laughs> make a gearbox. Place that there. Um, let's get some birch so it's not as ugly. Uh, so we need to do a gearbox because it's not going to be right otherwise. Why don't we do it on the other side? Excuse me? Here's what we'll do. And I'll probably need more cogwheels. Cut the line, the cog there, the cog here, um, puppies, the 
Uh, your box. Plunk. It's right there. It's right. No, those gears would grind. Wait a minute. Instead of doing all this, do you think? Perhaps? Possibly? One second, I need wood. My brain's working overtime right now. Instead of all that mess, I can just do big wheel, do that, and then that works. That works. That's just that's just going the correct direction. Um might even be able to make do it under here. That would be too much work. Because this way I can just do one shaft and that's that. Muffled cow noises. Lots of wood. Okay. That should start loading up this vault with wood, if it doesn't first choose to go out this way. This filter... Probably be wise to put another attribute filter on it, huh? Let's see. Ooh, I thought it would evenly split it, but no, it's straight up... Threw them all out this side. Well, we can do a third and final attribute filter. Um, go back, back. That's oh, almost ten. God, supposed to be quick and easy. So it's always five more minutes, ain't it? It's always oh, I'll, I'll get off. Of, I'll get off in of five minutes. I'll get off in of five minutes. Um, log in there. So we'll do is Minecraft. Log is tagged logs, and then we'll do the opposite. So is not logs, and then we take it. Boom! Is not logs. Is logs, and that is how it is separated. Um. Whoa! It just chopped down eight million trees in one go. How did it do that? It's gonna cycle off all our logs over here to the big boy vault. Um, and then, it's going to be a lot bigger than this. Then, we can have a funnel here. What we'll do is, we'll gear shift this. Let's go the other way. Another belt comes in handy. I kind of like it better if it's not on this side. Yeah, that's cooler for me. It's like one big shaft. Um, one big shaft is my nickname in college. Anyway, here's the oh, chest. Boink, boink. Uh, how did I make this mistake? Yeah, just dump all that on the floor, dog. Explode. 
thunder. More thunder. So we could do 64 at a time if we had a brass funnel, but we're doing one at a time because we're using andesite because I am a cheap person. I want to times fine. Eventually it'll fill up and then every now and then what? I'll take like a stack or two out and then it will fill it back up. That's fine. Uh, this one though needs to be rectified. My water bucket. I need that water bucket. Not spinning out only oak, so it looks like it's like... There's one issue with this, yeah. It's that, um... So do we not- do we really not have another brass? Because we do, then maybe I'll actually use it. We do not. So I could put a brass right here, and then you could put a- I could have an attribute filter or like a list filter, right? And then, um, you could request what you wanted. Unfortunately, not currently possible. Pretty spooky, huh? It just spits out its most recent one, which is not ideal. Ideally, we'd have an output for every single type of wood. But man, I am out of time today, and also that sounds like a pain. Did he just despawn right in front of my goddamn eyes? Sorry to God, he just despawned right in front of me. Sure did. Perfect, there we go. Now you got a thing here, you take out the stuff, it's all good. This is all cobblestone, it looks bad, but that's because there's lava there. And we got the, the, the cow farm, the cow farm. It's not producing yet, but um, there's probably, I think there's a few cows in there. How many cows are there? I don't know how, I don't know how to tell how many cows are right there. I count four? I don't know. Who's to say, honestly? Big tree. Gotta love the big trees. Oh man, a big tree grew inside of it. Thunk. Actually took some of that tree with it. Big old chunk of wood. Oh, the story goes this way. Hey, got that. We gotta sleep through this thunderstorm. I'm gonna light all my stuff on fire. Oh, big stretch. Okay. Good morning. Nice sunny morning. Very awesome. Well, that's gonna be all for today. I've got to go do stuff. Uh, if you liked it, thank you. Um, if you didn't like it, no, thank you. All the good stuffs, and bye-bye. Uh, That's all. That's it. That's the stream.